headlines that we're seeing, and you know, I'm sure you've all seen these headlines, but this is the kind of stuff like I, I watch on a daily basis and try and put together. So, you know, Walmart cutting jobs, uh, Walmart hit by U.S. sales decline, Home Depot looking to sell off parking lot space that it just can't fill anymore. There's nobody parking there, so what are we going to do with empty parking lot space? So they're looking for restaurants and complementary types of retailer uh, retail to take that space. Target is opening smaller stores and expanding outside the U.S. We're coming is a fundamental recalibration of the kind of retail that we need. We're seeing it all over the place. There's a move, a huge move, to urban locations from suburban markets. Walmart, Target, and everybody else, it seems, is really going now for this urban land grab and trying to get into the urban markets. Huge drive for online sales categories, they've cut inventory, and they're trying to expand service categories. Phenomenon that I call hypo markets, you know, so Walmart, as I said, the average store is 180,000 square feet. This one is 15,000 square feet. 15,000 square feet. Uh, they're calling it Walmart Express, and this is rolling out now rapidly. They started with 40, I think, they're now rolling it out rapidly across the U.S. They actually opened a store, if you can believe it, on the campus of the University of Arkansas, their first campus store. I was speaking to the Association of College Bookstores about two months ago, and I said, guys, this is huge. Like, this is, this is your Napster, you know? This could rock you. Um, and, and they expect that they're going to roll out more of these stores, too. Why? Is it for the, the, the tiny little percentage of sales they might get off a of campus? I don't think so. I think it's to connect to a younger consumer. Hi, we're here with Doug Stevens. Doug, can you tell us a little bit about your role in the home improvement industry? Sure. Retail Profit uh, is a company that basically focuses on trends in consumerism and retailing. We speak, write, and consult with companies on kind of the, the big shifts, the, the massive things that are happening out there. Okay, great. For retailers who couldn't make your presentation today, what's one piece of advice you'd like to give them or some piece of information they should know? I think the big thing is that you know we've we've looked at our current situation economically right now, and we, we've we're, everyone is sort of looking for the bounce back, for the recovery, so to speak. And I, I think really the 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 interesting thing is that it's less of a recovery that we're in right now, and more of a reconstruction. And we're really having to go back and reconstruct our value propositions, what our stores look like, what markets we're serving, and how we're serving them. So you know it. There's a lot of really major things going on out there, and the game is changing. And I think uh, as retailers, we need to understand those things.